On Tuesday, the 22nd of February, 2011, disaster struck the city of Christchurch. The earthquake only lasted 12 seconds, but that was long enough to cause billions of dollars worth of damage and take the lives of 185 people. New Zealand has suffered earthquakes before, but rarely have they been as destructive as this one. So what made this earthquake different? New Zealand lies in an area prone to seismic activity, known as the Ring of Fire. This region follows the perimeter of the Pacific Plate and is home to 90% of the world's earthquakes. New Zealand sits on the boundary between the Pacific Plate and the Australian Plate. In the north, the Pacific Plate is being forced under the Australian Plate in what's called a subduction zone. In the south, the opposite is happening. The Australian Plate is being forced under the Pacific Plate. In the middle, the two plates grind sideways past each other. But the plates don't always move freely. They had been stuck together for many years, and an enormous amount of pressure had accumulated. When they finally broke free, all this stored energy was released, triggering an earthquake. The first earthquake actually happened in September 2010, causing damage but no loss of life. The devastating quake that struck Christchurch in February 2011 was actually an aftershock. Even though this aftershock had a smaller magnitude than the initial quake, it had a much bigger impact for two reasons. Firstly, compared to the initial quake, the aftershock was much shallower and closer to the city. This meant that significantly more energy struck Christchurch, causing four times more shaking. Secondly, a phenomenon called the slapdown, or trampoline effect, made matters worse. As the shock waves travel through the ground, the lower layers of the earth move faster than those above. When the upper layers fall back down, they slap against the lower layers. This increases the severity of the shaking and turns solid soil to liquid mud. This process, called liquefaction, can cause destructive flooding. The earthquake was the worst known on record to strike Christchurch. Seismologists are examining all the data collected during the quake in the hope of discovering a means to better predict these terrifying forces of nature. <laughs>